It is a particular pleasure for me to be here uh, today uh, for the presentation of the United Nations World Water Development Report 2018. And as Blanca has already mentioned, uh, the report was launched less than two weeks ago by our Director General Audrey Azule at the World Water Forum in Brazil. And I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the Government of Brazil for hosting this outstanding event, and as uh, Blanca has already uh, mentioned, I mean, it was really outstanding. It was great in important size, uh, depths of substance, and I think it is really a, f a milestone also in this year of 2018, where we will be uh, discussing the advancement uh, on SDG 6 during the high-level political forum in July in New York. The launch was attended by representatives of other UN agencies, ministers, ambassadors, other dignitaries, and water professionals. So again, really a multi-stakeholder approach as we are actually uh, demanding it for water management. And clearly, uh, the World Water Development Report uh, produced by our program in Perugia has now become a well-recognized, I would actually call it brand, when it comes to uh, reporting and assessment on fresh water water resources. And I would like to commend the World Water Assessment Program with Stefan Uhlenbrock and his team of UNESCO for producing this comprehensive report on behalf of the UN. And similarly, I'd like to thank uh, the UN entities and all the partners who have collaborated in the UN World Water Development Report uh, through UN Water, a clear example of delivering as one. And I also wish to express my sincere gratitude to the government of the Republic of Italy and the um, Umbria region for hosting and financially supporting the World Water Assessment Pro uh, Program and the production of the World Water Development Report, certainly one of the flagship reports of UNESCO. The relevance uh, of this work is summarized in the words of uh, the well-known American hydrologist Luna Leopold, uh, and I cite, water is the most critical resource issue of our lifetime and our children's lifetime. The health of our waters is the principal measure of how we live on the land, unquote. And the 2018 World Water Development Report depicts with precision the health or unhealth of our waters and that of our environment and ourselves, the looming crisis is evident. As in 2015, almost one out of three persons lacked safely managed drinking water. Or severe organic pollution already affects around one-seventh of all rivers, stretches in Africa, Asia, Latin America, and has been steadily increasing for years. Under climate change, rain cycles are altered and climatic variability is more pronounced. And the population currently affected by land degradation or desertification and drought is estimated at 1.8 billion people, just eight 1 point billion too many, making this the most significant category of natural disaster based on both mortality and socioeconomic impact relative to GDP per capita. This is really a global crisis. Consequences of these progressive strategies are tangible everywhere in the shape of precarious and unhealthy living conditions that fuel poverty, loss of livelihood, violent extremism, and the migration crisis. And unfortunately, the current outlook for this situation is to worsen if we do not take a turn to a more sustainable path now. The 2018 World Water Development Report underlines the current preference towards concrete-based grey approaches in the water sector while attempting to address contemporary water management problems. In the usual scenario, the environment has traditionally been seen as one of the unfortunate but necessary trade-offs for development. However, this approach so far has seriously underestimated the role of ecosystem management in achieving water management goals. 
And this is exactly what the World Water Development Report 2018, Nature-Based Solutions for Water, is reflecting. This contemporary shift in thinking where ecosystem management or using nature-based solutions becomes a complementary tool for achieving water security. And the report suggests that water management approaches include working with nature instead of working against nature. The World Water Development Report series have always argued for the urgency of transformational change in how we manage water, recognizing that business as usual is not an option. And this 2018 edition on nature-based solution reinforces previous conclusions in this regard, but shows that nature-based solutions are part of such transformational change and a useful tool to achieve it. And I am confident that this report will help promote such change. And you might remember 2016, we were talking about how integrated water management can create jobs. We were talking 2017 about the hidden gold, wastewater, which could be reused. And now we're adding here better knowledge and better data and information on nature-based solutions. And it will be interesting to compare the recommendation of this year's World Water Development Report with the outcomes of the latest meeting of IPBES in Medellin in Colombia just the last month. And we will also bring uh, now the report's results in cooperation with our field uh, units uh, to our member states, and we will also present it in New York. Together with IHP, the synthesis report on SDG 6, the World Water Assessment Program and the World Water Development Report, UNESCO can provide a comprehensive approach to support our member states towards integrated water resource management. Let's make the case for the importance of UNESCO water also in this year 2018 at the high level political forum in New York and we count on your support here member states. Thank you.